I've made a few videos about um, pulling up old particle board um, that was used as backer board under old tile uh, back in the day. This house was built in 1982 and the builders nailed and glued down half inch uh, particle board and then used that as their tile backer. Um, it's a real pain in the butt to get it off. The glue makes it very difficult. So unless you want to replace the subfloor, you're going to have a demolition job in front of you. So I've done about, uh, let's say 40 square feet so far. And I'm not going to lie. It's been pretty difficult. You can see I've already done a little bit of tiling. I've got, a, I've got enough here to lay another piece of backer. Tools I use, pretty simple. Just a flooring mallet and a super bar. I use that to do the heavy lifting of pulling up the uh, the tiles. You just wedge it under the back. The places where there's no glue, try to get under there, pull up the tiles, pull up the um, particle board. Now you can see here, if you look at the you look at the floor, you can see here there's spots with, these are the, the glue spots. And you know, these guys were pretty diligent. They covered about half the floor with uh, with glue. So to get, it, to get the rest of it, I uh, use a chisel. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> use a chisel and I'll just uh, uh, get under it like this. You get under it and you just hit it with the, hit it with the mallet and uh, pry it up. It's a really laborious process and you got to keep that chisel sharp. So I, sharp, I sharpen the chisel a couple times a day. But um, <clears throat> I'd say if you're going to, this is, this is definitely a DIYers method for a small room. Um, probably if you, if you, if you're a builder, <laughs> you're just going to pull up the subfloor and re re replace the subfloor. Um, if you're a more serious professional and you can, you can uh, handle the dust, I would recommend for getting up the, the little bubbles of, of particle board here. This, this is a piece of particle board that has glue under it. Um, I found that using an angle grinder with a, with a wood saw attachment works great. Uh, the problem with that is it produces a copious amount of dust. And you can see here, I'm in, I'm in the kitchen right now. And uh, my wife would kill me if I, if I had the kitchen completely out of commission for three or four days. So I kind of have to work as I go. And this has pushed me toward the the chisel method. So it's more laborious, um, far slower, but it works well. Uh, and you can see here, I think if you kind of look at the subfloor, um, like here's a spot where the subfloor was damaged, where it got pulled up. But for the most part, the subfloor is, is quite intact. And uh, after I just do a final, I just run the chisel over it one final time to kind of take up all the, any glue bubbles. And uh, it, it's flat enough for the purposes of, of tiling. Uh, I'm going to be running, I run uh, four tenths of an inch thick uh, backer board. So it's thick backer. So any imperfections in the, in the uh, subfloor will be taken up by that stiff backer board. So anyway, um, that's kind of my definitive, I don't have too much more of this to do. So that's kind of my definitive view on the problem of removing glued down particle board from the subfloor. So I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, post comments if you get questions or criticisms or whatever. See ya.